Hi, everybody. This is Dr. Yen from That's Why. And today I have with me Lou Lockman, who is my amazing energy therapist. So Lou has been working with me on um, constructively dealing with the large amounts of stress that I tend to experience with you know, the job. And um, she is here to really um, share some of the techniques that she uses. Now, just a little background on Lou. She has been a therapist for over 25 years, originally trained in Buddhist psychotherapy in the UK. And later, she was an addiction counselor in the United States. Finally, she trained, and this is why I go to her as an energy therapist, and she also has trained other therapists for over 19 years. She has a passion about addressing trauma and teaching the tools that can calm the body so that emotions become more manageable. Now, I know for a lot of you, your children are having a hard time with dealing with the emotions and the stress around the pandemic. So I thought that Lou could come and kind of share with us and teach us some techniques that we can then teach to our students. So without further ado, thank you for joining us on That's Why. All right, Lou, tell us what you got. So um, the thing about energy practices is really, it's a lot of things that you already know. So while I teach people, I try to remind them that there's a lot that they know and there's a lot that they do intuitively. So like when you're really stressed, you might go like this. And actually that's, that's an energy intervention. You're bringing your blood back into your frontal lobe so that you can actually think, whereas it goes um, naturally into your kind of reptilian brain at the back. So that's an example in which you kind of know um, ways of calming your system, ways of working with the energy of your body and your system. And we also do this sometimes, and this is another Mm -hmm. technique that, that actually is really calming and really supportive. So I'm just reminding you of that to, to kind of pay attention to the things you do intuitively and try to follow that, um, and kind of follow that with the kids, um, and, so that they learn to trust the way that they do things. Um, yeah, oh, so that they're not, so that they're not trying to just follow what somebody else says or somebody else says is good. Um, yeah. So the heart, the heart holding is a really powerful one where you can kind of speak to the body directly. And while you're holding the heart, just listening to how is the body how upset is it where is the upset and try to make it very specific in the body instead of thinking about oh why do i feel this way and making up stories about the reasons for it instead kind of just coming back to the body soothing the body calming it down does that make sense Absolutely. So, and this is one thing um, Lou had shared with me, even before we created this recording, she said, it's super important for you to try some of these techniques first so that you kind of know how they work. And then that way you can help to guide your kids when they're experiencing some of these emotions and outbreaks and things like that. Um, You know, and I mean, this could also be, I would say, right, Lou, like a, a thing where you can lead kids or teach them that technique throughout and then remind them of it when they're experiencing some of these emotions. I I think it's important that they, that they try things out when they're not upset, when they're, you know, when they're a little, maybe a little bit upset, a little bit stressed about that test or something, but not like full blown, um, say 10, 10 out of us, out of a scale of zero to 10, you know, they're, they're able to kind of go, um, I can manage this, but I'd like to calm down a bit. Love it. Love it. So it does sound like it would be a great, is there a name to this, this technique hand over heart or something? What? It's heart holding heart holding. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. And also you can also use your, you can put these two together actually. And that's kind of head heart holding. Nice. And it just, yeah, it's just really soothing. 
You know, what's interesting is um, I practice Reiki. And when, you know, every once in a while when I'm treating people, I actually do the, put my hands in, in these two places, the hand, the head and the heart, it almost, and I, I'm not even sure why I've always done it, but now it makes a little bit more sense, especially when you said it connects to some of the things that we do naturally. So yes, yes that's fantastic. That's important. So the, the thing about energy psychology is that you're working, you're using your energy body. So you're kind of using the meridians of the body or the chakras of the body, the mm -hmm. energy system. Um, so there's another, there's another practice called the Wayne Cook posture. Wayne Cook posture. Really, really useful. And you're basically crossing, crossing your legs, one crossing your legs and then crossing your arms. You yeah. cross in the same direction. Okay. Hang on. And just kind of, kind of flip up like this. But, oh. But it's not, you don't have to, you could leave them down, but it's kind of, it's kind of huggy when you do this. Huh. I find it really, I like, I like this part, but if I'm lying down in bed, I find this a little bit of a strain. So I might do this. I see. Instead. You know, when I was a kid, I used to do this a lot. See, you know, it's <laughs> that's really, because when you do this, I'm like, on here, you already know all the answers. <laughs> <laughs> That's really interesting. Incidentally, folks, um, like I said, Lou, Lou is just an encyclopedia of some great techniques and things like that, that, that she's taught me. So some of the, these things that she's, she's showing you now are fairly new to me too. But at the same time, I don't know, I invite you to try it because for some reason, when I do this, I'm like, this feels so familiar, you know, and then it just reminds me of when I was a kid, I used to do this, like on the swing. This was one of my favorite, like I'd be rocking like this with my legs crossed on the swing just because it felt really good. So you so, stay like that for a while and then you can switch to the other side. Ah, so okay. It feels completely relaxed, then you switch over. But what I love about this, this technique in particular is it kind of untangles mental chaos and it kind of allows you to focus more and learn more effectively, really. Because you're, oh, you're always going to learn more effectively when you're calm than you are. So do you think this would work with, you know, um, and I don't know if this is the case. That's why I'm asking. Children who tend to be really fidgety, does this help, do you think? Or would this be a detriment? Yeah. I think okay. it would, but I, but I think you have to, you have to let them try it. Mm, before they experience yeah. it. Yeah. You just have to, I mean, you know, with everyone, even though I think, I think we all have the same energy system and I think it all, all of it works really effectively. And I think like with some techniques that have been tested, it's like more than it's like 95% effective, you know, it's really, mm -hmm. really effective with people, but at the same time, people are characters and they like some things and they don't like others. And kids can be really kind of ornery if they're <laughs> unsure about something that you're teaching them. So I just think it's important that, that they get to choose whether they do it or not, whether, you know, you can say this, yeah. this really work and then kind of, you know, in a light way, kind of offer it and then let them, let them kind of go, no, I don't like that. Or, you know, um, yeah. Or, or give them, give them the, you know, some options like, well, you could try this one or you could try this one or, mm. you know, um, these yeah. are that it works well, or, you know, it works for me, you could say. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. And what I like about these techniques that you're showing is um, there's that physical like aspect to it where you're touching parts of your body. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, especially in this day and age with COVID-19, we don't get to hug people. We don't get that human contact so much. Mm -hmm. And, you know, this just, I don't know, it just feels really, yeah, comforting. Nourishing. <laughs> What's that? Nourishing? Nourishing. Yes. <laughs> yes. We, we do. We need it. We yeah. need that. We need that contact. Yes, I agree. And I just want to also share too, um, some of you may be like, huh, energy, what? So um, I used to be that way. I actually come from a science background as 
some of you are probably not surprised. And um, just to share a quick personal story and the reason why Lou has been so helpful in, in my um, you know, work and my therapy is because um, I used to have very chronic migraines. Um, you know, to the point where I'd be blinded for week, you know, two weeks, I'd be in the emergency room. And it wasn't until a friend of mine tried Reiki on me, Reiki, which is also a healing practice to help align the energies um, that I stopped experiencing migraines to that extent, like they no longer became this debilitating thing for me. And you know, me being like the science skeptic, it just blew my mind that modern medicine wasn't helping me. But then this one treatment with Reiki was like that. And from there, I was like, all right, I don't want to be on these drugs anymore. I want to become a Reiki master so that I can control these things. And incidentally, this is actually one of the reasons why I have a lot of plants in the office, because I often have a lot of energy flowing through. So I give it to my plants <laughs> and it just so it helps balance. And, um, and so just, just saying the other thing uh, is if you want to bring the science to this, realize that our nerves are all electrical, right? Like think about tasers and, you know, electrocution. I know these sound terrible, but we are electrical conduits no matter what. And so energy um, is not, I, I wouldn't say I invite you to lean into these ideas regarding energy because it's in our vocabulary. We talk about, oh gosh, I have no energy today, right? Or I'm buzzy with energy because we are. And energy and electricity and heat, all of these things are just versions of themselves, right? And so what Lou really is doing is kind of helping us with unblocking some of these energy pieces with, you know, dealing with energy in different ways. And like I said, the reason why, and thank you so much for being on here. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I love this because uh, again, I love how she ties the energy pieces to the physical body as well. And then also to the mental pieces of it. It's just, it's all aligning, um, which is, Fantastic. Sorry, I didn't mean to steal your show, but I just thought it'd be important to share. No, I think it's our show. Yes, <laughs> yes indeed. You can steal it anytime. <laughs> I think um, what I'm aware of is that for me, energy techniques came in when I was really emotional. Oh. It really, really helped me to kind of balance things out so that I could calm down and be able to manage my life. So... That was, that was the thing for me. I didn't have migraines, but I think, I think the physical is always, or is almost always connected emotionally in some way. Yes. And the calming, you know, we're so sensitive um, and we need, we need kind of tools that are sensitive enough to, to match what's happening for us. Yes. Especially now, you know, people are so emotionally wound up. Mm -hmm. um, and rightly so, right? I mean, we've never been in a pandemic like this before. So, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and like I said, incidentally, this is part of the reason why I started coming to Lou. Um, you know, I, I deal with, I, I, my whole life, I've dealt with stress of trying to will things to happen. And this year, I kind of, every year I set goals for myself. Last year, it was to break my workaholic ways. And this year it was, let me figure out how to constructively deal with stress so that it doesn't destroy me. Um, I can't keep dealing with stress as a motivator because it's so unhealthy afterwards. Um, and so Lou has really helped me with calming the systems down, clearing my mind so that I can focus on work and be more productive with that. So thank you, Lou. <laughs> My pleasure. I've got, I've got one more tool, but I'm, yeah. yeah. Yes, please. I haven't taught too much already. Okay. Um, so there's a tool called zip up, which what it, what it does is it, it kind of tells your energy system that you're contained, that you're not just open. And I would say that even with people that we really love and adore, we need that 
containment. We need that, you know, it's like good boundaries make good relationships, a bit like in a classroom, right? You have really good boundaries with the kids and suddenly they're all respectful. Well, yes. um, you know, they need that containment and I think we all need it all of the time. Yes, like so, toxic family members, yeah. toxic meetings or with, you know, um, parents that could be eating on you. This might be a technique for both you and your kids. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it's um, to practice it on yourself. You zip up. So it, it's the, the meridian in the front starts from the pelvic bone and goes straight up the front of the body and ends on your chin. And the, um, the other part of the technique is goes from your tailbone up the front of up the back of your body and ends at your upper lip. Well, yeah, in the middle, just under your nose. So you can kind of do it to each other by kind of going, you know, up and round and ending at the mouth. But and you can, you can do it in front by kind of zipping up the front of your body and ending at your chin like that and do it. I would do it kind of breathe in as you go up and breathe out as it goes down and move out from your body as you do that. So almost like gathering your energy back in, right? Yes. Yes. It is like that. And, and, um, and you can kind of trace the one at the back, but you, a third way of doing it is that you can kind of hold these two points and imagine being zipped up. So if you're in a meeting or something and you have something going on and you just need that containment, but, but as you watch this video right now, I would just try it and see how it feels. Mm. Just notice what it does to your system when you um, have that sense of being zipped up. I need to do this more often, <laughs> right? Like this again, is a good can one. Help you, can help it. It protects you from the negativity of others and kind of helps you think more clearly and more positively. Oh, this is fantastic! Thank you so much. Oh, my pleasure. Yes, I appreciate it. Um, now, if you are interested in learning more from Lou. She actually does a wonderful video series and you can get a free teaching video from her every month. Am I correct, Lou? <laughs> and so in um, either, if you're on Facebook, it's up in the description. If you're in YouTube, it's down in the description. Go ahead and grab the link, sign up for her newsletter, and that video will just pop into your inbox. Or if you are interested in, you know, having her help with some of the things that you're dealing with, you can also fill out the contact form and, and talk to her. <laughs> so um, anything else to add at all, Lou? It's a pleasure to be here. And, you know, I just, I just hope that it is supporting teachers right now because I can't imagine how difficult it might be right now at the moment to to kind of stay in contact with kids and how distressed they might be right now. So thank you, Lou, so much. I think this is going to help a lot of kids. So, you know, try out the techniques, share them with your kiddos, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody. Bye.